Honorable President and respected audience, Assalamu alaikum. The year 2019 may be remembered forever as it brought the biggest global chaos with a silent but lethal virus that caused mass destruction, resulting in casualties, mental and physical trauma, oxygen insufficiency, lockdowns, economic downfalls, thus leading this global village to a total paralytic state. COVID-19 invaded and suspended our fast-paced lives, yet I can't help but notice some of its hidden benefits, therefore making me truly believe why coronavirus has been a blessing in disguise. <coughs> Before the invasion of this microscopic culprit, families, if I may say so, were not acting like families at all. They all lived under the same roof, yet the distance among them was immense. When this virus has caused havoc, it has also been a blessing in disguise. And it won't be wrong to say that it brought people closer than we ever were. In the past year and a half, people around the globe have become more conscious towards themselves, their health, their surroundings, and of the planet Earth in general. Mr. President, where family dynamics have changed, this revolution has not only been seen at domestic level, but also at corporate level. A digital revolution is progressing, not only in the developed countries, but also in the underdeveloped countries. The need of freelancing had been raised to 45% on average during COVID. 75% of teachers and librarians also acquired digital literacy skills. This pandemic has raised many questions and scenarios, making us reflect where we stand at a larger spectrum. It has also made us realize that we need to lessen the Earth's burden. According to the International Energy Agency, average activities on the roads fell by almost 50% as compared to 2019. Shipping traffic causes noise pollution, which is generally 20 to 200 hertz that reduced by 6 decibels with a significant reduction below 150 hertz. Traffic levels also reduced by 65%. Economically, this pandemic has paved ways for creating employment in new dimensions. It has also led mankind to slow down its pace and think beyond their own selfish interest in order to study the humanitarian aspects instead of focusing on the material world. The corona pandemic did initially prove itself to be a curse, yet it led mankind to slow down its pace and think of not only the times ahead, but human legacy as well. As every picture has two sides, every human has two perspectives. The same is the case with the COVID-19 virus. The Almighty definitely hides the ultimate benefits for his creatures, for which we do not need the human eye to see, but an open heart to accept and understand, hence concluding for the statement that coronavirus has been a blessing in disguise. Believe it or not, do think about it. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. I would uh, like to ask her, Meher Banu, I guess her name is, uh, that is, uh, you said like uh, families give time to get together in their houses, but uh, uh, for like worldwide we have observed that there were many people who were staying at homes but suffered from depression, anxiety and so many other mental disorders. So how could you defend this? Well, thank you very much for the question. And uh, like I said, families did get closer in the sense that everybody was very busy with their lives and uh, everybody was either busy with their jobs, schools, colleges or universities and they did not have time for their families, especially the um, age group of toddlers had, have always been into digital um, technology just because of this because they, their parents don't give them enough time because they're too busy in their work and in their work life. Hence, justifying my statement and saying that they did come closer because of that. Obviously, there is a positive side to everything, but there is also a negative side to it. The same is uh, with this statement as well. Thank you.